Hi everyone, my name is Joe. I'm a police officer here with the city of San Mateo, and we have a message for all of you. Well, actually not all of you. I just wanna take this time to, to speak to the little tykes, the little citizens of San Mateo, and, and spend a little time with you while mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt or uncle get a little break. So folks, you older citizens, you guys can kick your feet up, have a cup of coffee. We're gonna spend a little time, and we're gonna do something I love to do, and that's read. So if you would, spend a little time with me, and we're gonna read Charlie the Ranch Dog by Reed Drummond. Now, Charlie the Ranch Dog, this is a book that my daughter let me borrow to bring and read to you guys. And one of the conditions to, to let me borrow was that I do all the voices. So bear with me and I'll do my best. Oh, hello. My name is Charlie. I live in the country. I'm a ranch dog. This is Susie. She's my best friend. We sure don't look much alike, do we? Susie, unfortunately, doesn't have the paws I have or the droopy eyes, or the floppy skin, or the big dangly ears. Susie's ears don't even dangle. Never have, never will. I try not to hold that against her. But then again, Susie sure can run, and dig, and jump. I've never been much of a jumper, believe me. I've tried, and tried, and tried, and tried. The old legs just don't work that way. But all that stuff doesn't really matter anyway, cause tall or short, Slow or fast, tiny is or floppy is, there's plenty of work around here for both of us. First thing we do every day is get out of bed early. Too early. Dark early. I'd better go wake up Susie. She's never been much of a morning dog. Well, I guess she was a morning dog today. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. The next thing I have to do is chase Daisy the cow out of the yard. Daisy knows she's not supposed to be in the yard. Some cows never listen. Well, I guess I'll let Susie go ahead and do it this time too. I like to give her a chance to shine every now and then. It's the kind of dog I am. All right then, now that Daisy's under control, it's time for me to sniff the porch steps. I've got to keep all the critters out. Sniffing the porch step is hard work. Up and down, up and down. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yep, all clear down there. It's a good thing I'm here to keep the critters away. After the porch steps are good and sniff, I like to have my breakfast. I can't be expected to do all this work on an empty stomach. <laughs> Yum, breakfast is my life. And breakfast, after breakfast, I usually go help mama in a vegetable garden. Mama loves her garden. I don't really understand all the fuss. I'd prefer a bacon garden myself, but I go ahead and lend a hand anyway. It's sure a good thing Mama has me to help her. There's no way she'd get it all done without me. It isn't even lunchtime yet, and I've already worked harder than most dogs out there. I think I'll just sit down and rest for a minute. I think I'll just... <gasps> what a miss! Oh, I must have accidentally closed my eyes for a few seconds. I'd better get back to work. Work, after all, is what I do best. I have, to, I have cattle to round up, fences to fix, and fish to catch. I'm known for my expert fishing skills. Eventually, we make our way back to the house. Susie's ready to eat lunch by then. I usually go ahead and eat, too. I wouldn't, want to have, I wouldn't want Susie to have to dine alone. After lunch, Susie likes to lie down and take her afternoon nap. I usually go ahead and, and lie down too. I wouldn't want Susie to have to nap by herself. Huh? What a miss! Oh, I must have accidentally closed my eyes for a few seconds. Oh, hello. Where'd everybody go? Rats! I guess they went back to work without me. Nothing else to do but take another nap, I guess. Wait, what's that? Methinks I hear the sound of approaching beasts. Days of no! Arr That was a close call. 
It sure is a good thing I decided to stay home. There's no telling what would have happened if I hadn't been here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll lay down and rest for a minute. I've had a long, hard day of work. I just hope Susie remembers to wake me up in time for dinner. The end. Now, that was Charlie the Ranch Dog. And like I said, one of my favorite books to read to, to my kids. And I hope you enjoyed it. Now, one thing that we do want to stress to you folks, and especially to the little guys while you're here stuck at home a little bit, and you can't go to school, and you can't be with your friends, we understand that, and we know you're home, and we ask that you stay home, and you do the very best you can to take care of yourselves. I promise you that your teachers, your classmates, everybody misses you, and the police, and the fire, and the nurses, and the doctors, and everybody is working very, very hard to keep this community safe for you folks, and safe for you kids so you guys can get back to school and get back to your lives really soon. So wash your hands, cover your coughs, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.